Good to see you. All right, Revenants, welcome back to uh, Code Vein. Uh, welcome back to the Road to 100, where we are working currently on our 31st star. Um, and uh, we are running the one-handed sword uh, run here. And so this time we are going to be running Scout, uh, as it is uh, one of a very few select blood codes that can outright make use of the Fulman Blade uh, with these crazy requirements here of a uh, Dex of A and a Mind of B. There are three blood codes uh, stock that can make use of this. There is Queen Slayer, as uh, I'll turn off the passives here, as we have an A and a B in Dex and Mind, respectively. Also, we have Scout, which has an A and a B, respectively, in Dex and Mind, and as well as Volley, uh, where is it, Volley, from the uh, uh, DLC 3, um, Lord of Thunder DLC. Uh, it, this also has a Dex and Mind available to make use of the Fulman Blade outright. Now, uh, in order to maintain uh, under the 60 pound weight limit here, excuse me, of, uh, of uh, Scout to maintain that quick mobility, uh, we have to pair up here with the um, Ivory Grace or Snowy Elegance, uh, and if we fortify it, we get uh, a pretty respectable light value here uh, that we can make use of with Bridge to Glory, uh, which buffs this uh, half of that, so we will get 612 uh, added to our um, added to our already uh, fairly respectable um, uh, value here, so we'll get about uh, 60 about a 66% increase in our damage here, which is very, very good, even though it's additive. It's, a, it's the entire value here, basically, of our scaling value, uh, which is most excellent. And since everything through the cathedral here is weak to pierce lightning, um, we will be paired up here with lightning. And since the Fulman Blade is lightning as well, uh, and we have the lightning uh, attachment on it, uh, we will be doing um, mostly a, lo a lot of lightning. And we have lightning barrage here. Um, in the event that uh, our uh, sword slashing is uh, not getting it done, uh, we can uh, u make use of uh, putting out a whole bunch of i um, very, very quickly on the enemy. And as the uh, Fulman Blade is uh, a, uh, akin to the Lost Broadsword, this um, move set is what the uh, Fulman Blade has, so that's the Lost Broadsword. And then if we switch back to the Fulman Blade, you'll see that it's the exact same moveset, uh, no difference there. Um, now, the one thing that the uh, um, uh, Fulman Blade has on uh, the uh, Lost Broadsword and basically any other weapon is, you'll notice here on the defenses, that it is uh, even and balanced across the board, um, and it has a uh, pretty uh, large drain rating here, uh, similar exactly to the, um, where is it, the uh, b uh, Black Saber that we investigated in uh, episode one of this run, and uh, as well as the machete, and as well as the uh, broadsword itself. Uh, so this is um, kind of some of the benefits here of what the uh, Fulman Blade offers. Now it is a dex weapon, which is kind of strange that it's an extremely heavy weapon with a uh, dex scaling, so you can't go for the usual heavy uh, strength blood codes. You have to go for the more lighter uh, strange blood codes. Um, and as you see that uh, our weapon has 92 across the board, which is pretty good, so if we uh, pair up with Steady Bulwark uh, or a Guard Booster, we will have perfect block across the board. Um, so that's where this uh, weapon can help and uh, benefit you uh, more so than uh, other weapons. So uh, let's get ourselves uh, going here. And uh, this area is uh, extremely difficult uh, with this kind of a weapon. Okay, and uh, on a backstab we get uh, eight I4, uh, so we can block those, and uh, we can get a backstab here. And you see that we get about eight I4 back on a uh, backstab there. And we can go ahead and uh, put a uh, piercing strike right through her gut, which is your uh, running button paired with the uh, regular light attack, which is like this. And that is the only way that you can get pierce out of this weapon. Uh, which is what these uh, folks are weak to, and so uh, that is the way that we have to make sure, kind of, that that is a finishing move um, altogether, because uh, otherwise it will uh, ruin us uh, pretty pretty hard. Okay, and because the uh, the uh, restand on that is very very long, um, it is uh, not fun to have that as a reset. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and get ourselves going here, and this invasion is extremely difficult, so uh, apologies up front if I'm not uh, commentating the entire thing. It does take a lot of focus since we have uh, zero AoE and we have to uh, fight each an enemy individually. Okay, so let's go ahead and get ourselves going here. Okay, 
Let's get uh, around these these folks. Okay. Oh, and we're dead in one hit, as you see there. Okay. And uh, so we already used uh, Mia's um, uh, pass hit there. Oh, and we're dead again. Okay, and Mia's dead. Okay, so off to a fantastic start here. Uh, <laughs> as we uh, get ourselves bludgeoned in the face um, all, at the, all at the same time here. But the, uh, the real benefit is here that we can uh, dodge quickly and uh, easily uh, wherever we need to go. And as uh, Scout has a fairly respectable 236 um, stamina, no, we're, we're good here. Um, we can uh, definitely make good use here of, uh, of the blood code altogether. Okay, I'll block that. Now if we could get uh, circular guard, it would be even that much better. Okay, and uh, can't work. There we go, block that. And we're getting uh, I pour back every time uh, we go for um, one of those uh, blocking defenses there. Okay, and we'll make our way back over. So I spent a couple hours uh, running this invasion here just to uh, kind of fine-tune this to make sure that we have all the tools necessary to get through here. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's just um, it's just very difficult. And uh, there's no two ways about it. There's no bones about it. Uh, that's just how it is. And uh, it's unfortunate, but uh, that's just that's just how these invasions go. Um, they are very very difficult, and there's no way to. Uh, just simply, you know, kind of roll over it and make it easy uh, with a one-handed sword. Okay, so let's go ahead and get ourselves going here. And uh, the benefit also of uh, this weapon is, uh, of course, the uh, charge uh, that you can do. The charge attack gives you a uh, five to ten percent uh, bonus on um, on uh, weapon damage or lightning damage. So uh, we go ahead and make use of that. And uh, now we're in a bad way here as. Uh, We've already been hit once, and uh, we need to uh, make sure that we, uh, oops, there goes Mia, so we'll give her back, oh, and these ladies, if you don't get the backstab exactly perfect, uh, you pay for it, you pay for it in a very, very, oh, yep, we're dead, okay, okay, and they're going after Mia, oh, good grief, I try to do a launch, uh, and I can't get them to uh, behave here. Um, as the uh, camera lock-on is kind of putting us around in circles here. Uh, so this is why I spent a couple hours uh, going through this, was to uh, make sure that uh, we kind of uh, okay. got through it okay? um, in, in one piece. And uh, as you see there, uh, definitely uh, because we have zero AoE, we have zero ability to handle multiple enemies all at once. Uh, we are uh, extremely uh, inhibited, <laughs> to say the least. Okay, and good, we got a back stem. So uh, let's see if we can uh, uh, put our little brains on here and uh, get through this. Okay, and see uh, when it's one on one and there's nothing to worry about, and uh, me and I are uh, ganging up on uh, these individuals, um, these enemies go down very, very quickly. But as soon as we get ganged up on three to two, um, this uh, becomes a little bit uh, tilted against us, um, not in our favor. Okay, and as we head through here, we got this fella again, and he's always just a uh, kind of free um, I-Core uh, recovery. Yes, and you can skirt him uh, pretty easily here, uh, not, a, not an issue at all. We'll go ahead and poke him in the back and uh, get rid of him, and uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, get, uh, get ourselves going here. Now, uh, this invasion is kind of just a uh, rite of passage uh, to me, in my mind, and uh, it's just a uh, great way to uh, see how uh, codes and builds uh, perform and operate, as uh, everything in here is just uh, miserable. Okay, we got uh, monkeys here, so let's back up here. Okay, and good, we got a backstab there, and Mia should uh, be able to kill uh, this stupid monkey. Oh, no, no, that stupid uh, three hit attack, okay, okay, oh, good grief, oh, that monkey got me uh, screwed up there again, and uh, as the uh, RNG of the invasion is always different, uh, every time you join the invasion, uh, it spawns uh, different enemies in a different order, 
and different amounts of each uh, of each kind, and that's why uh, these invasions can be uh, simpler or harder uh, depending on uh, which set of enemies um, you have uh, coming in. Uh, but it doesn't also help that uh, these people are doing slash and pierce, and that is exactly what we are weak to, um, and that doesn't help anything at all uh, either. So uh, yeah, it's kind of a uh, you know, going in uh, without being a glass cannon, having uh, zero uh, s staying power in each of the invasions, or in each of the engagements, while at the same time uh, trying to uh, bludgeon the enemy to death um, without uh, having a bludgeon. Okay, let's go ahead and drink some water. But uh, these invasions certainly do uh, test the player. Uh, but you can get through here very, very quickly, very, very easily with a, uh, a switch of a blood code and a switch of a weapon. And uh, you can uh, do things um, very, very easily and get through here. Um, but uh, again, when you're trying to uh, go for something different that uh, you've not done before and you've uh, maybe practiced once or twice, uh, sometimes the build is just, um, you know, not uh, sufficient to uh, make it through. Um, each of the uh, encounters here. So, yep, we just have to we just have to wait and see. Okay, uh, we got a monkey, so that's uh, that's a real problem already, off the bat there. Okay, good. Okay, let's go ahead and get Mia back. Okay. Okay, and let's head over here so we push the uh, spawn point further this way uh, once we kill uh, this lady. There we go. And uh, if I could get a backstab, uh, it would set us up uh, nicely so we can assess uh, what's exactly going on here. There we go. And this will push the spawn point backwards. Uh, I'm not sure what Mia's doing. Uh, she looks like she's getting uh, destroyed over there. Um, so we push the spawn point back, so here they come, which is very, very good. Okay, this lady's coming here, so we'll go for her. Oh, good grief. I uh, did not get the, uh, obviously did not get the backstab on that. And I didn't get that uh, backstab either. There we go, we got that one finally. Uh, okay. Okay, let's back up here. Okay. Let's launch this lady, good. Okay. Good. Uh, this lady's still over here. We'll put her down. Got an old world material. Let's go ahead and heal. And uh, this is ideal that it can give us uh, time to uh, uh, get our bearings and what's going on as we uh, continuously push the spawn point backwards. Okay. 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 Good. And we got a backstab. Perfect. So uh, pushing the spawn point is uh, critical in uh, handling these uh, folks um, easy one-on-one -on -one, uh, instead of uh, making sure, so as you can see them spawning down there on the big open uh, circle area, that uh, is definitely where you want them spawning uh, instead of uh, in close tight quarters over here uh, along the uh, roadway. Okay. Okay. Oh, good grief. Oh, and there is the uh, slow, uh, the slow striking uh, damage of the uh, Fulman Blade as we uh, took that death there, uh, kind of slowly and, and sadly. Let's go for a couple of things here. Now we're not uh, getting too many uh, damaging effects in here, so we'll go for uh, a drain activator to make sure that we uh, can go for these folks. Okay, we'll get a backstab on her. That'll be good. That'll uh, take that shield off. Go for another backstab, load up on some I-Core here. Okay. There we go. Okay, where's Mia? Okay, she's doing alright. Let's go ahead and block this. Okay, even though uh, it gives us a little bit of inhibit buildup, um, we are okay to uh, um, block some of that. Oh, there's two people here. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, back up a little bit. Okay, good, we got a backstab. 
Let's see where the chunky lady is. She's killing uh, Mia. Okay. Okay. Oh, good grief. Mia, please. Mia, please. Mia, please. Oh. So again, as you can see there, um, we are uh, definitely limited in uh, our damage output um, with the Fulman Blade, um, especially since it is extremely slow. And these uh, invasions uh, take very, very, very long. So uh, the uh, cathedral may be three or four episodes here uh, just to get through with a one-handed sword as this is uh, absolutely not uh, the ideal way to get through here at all. Uh, what you want to be doing is pierce and the black halberd would be a fantastic uh, option here. Um, or the uh, cerulean spear or the impaler. Uh, those would all be uh, fantastic options. Uh, this is absolutely the worst option going for a slashing sword um, because all these enemies through here are uh, strong to slash uh, so we are playing right into their strength um, and doing uh, nothing about it uh, to <laughs> mitigate that uh, weakness so um, that's the problem with uh, playing into uh, an enemy's uh, strength is uh, typically most of the time we are um, trying to play to the enemy's uh, weakness but uh, here in the cathedral, uh, if you uh, build for a one-handed uh, weapon, you always play to the enemy's strength, and uh, this area becomes extremely uh, difficult. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and get ourselves going here again, and uh, let's uh, let's pick it all up and do it all again. Oh, we got another monkey. Whoops, we got a monkey. Must kill the monkey first at all costs, and uh, max stab this lady to make sure that we can. Uh, uh, put her down and as you see there uh, the um, Fulman Blade does have uh, the ability here to uh, slash these ladies down uh, but uh, you definitely need to be uh, prepped and ready for it and we got uh, this lady here okay and uh, even though we can block uh, the big ladies uh, every time we uh, block them we get inhibited which means that we um, Oh, whoa, there's the camera. Uh, every time we block them, we get inhibited. So it's uh, not uh, ideal by any means. All right. Okay. Let's backstab her, get that shield off for sure. And, uh, okay. Oh, good grief, that monkey. Get out of here, monkey. There we go. Okay, good. And let's go for... Steady Bulwark. Uh, she killed that one. Good. Let's go ahead and heal. Alright, Mia, this is the one. This is the one. Alright, here comes a big lady, a slender lady, and another slender lady. Oh boy. Okay, so now we got uh, spawns in threes. Okay, let's launch so we don't get uh, killed here. Okay. There we go. Let's go for another launch. Okay, she died. Okay. Oh, and we're dead because of the stagger of the uh, enemies here. Okay. And uh, let's go for a burst there. Okay. Okay. And good. We got a backstab to get rid of that shield. Very good. Okay. Oh, boy. We are... Uh, oh, no. We got monkeys. Oh, monkeys. They're gonna push us back for sure. Oh, uh, there we go. Stupid monkeys. There we go. Good. Okay. Oh, I hate the monkeys. They're just absolutely the worst. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, go for a gift accelerator because we need to apply our gifts uh, very, very quickly. We got three slender ladies. So, oh, and we got uh, the Golden Knight. That's great. Uh, that means we're coming down to the end. Uh, so we will uh, pick up this lady here, and we'll go for a uh, kill on her. And uh, then we will go for this lady. Okay. Good. Okay, where's this lady? Now we can block this. Oh. Okay. Good dodge, Mia. Good dodge. Okay. Whew, we got a backstab. Very good. Okay, now uh, we'll put her down. Okay, cool. Uh, 
<sighs> okay, so there's the invasion. Holy moly. Um, this invasion is uh, very, very long, as you can see. Uh, it uh, is not a fun time when you are uh, trying to constantly uh, go back and forth between each enemy individually um, and at the same time uh, do enough damage on every enemy to uh, make sure that you can kill them and move on. Okay, so now that we finished the invasion, uh, we can get rid of this and go for uh, uh, lifesteal or, um, uh, what is that, um, regenerative drain, either one would be fine. Okay. Mia, don't push me off the edge, please. Okay, kill that guy, get some health back. Okay, so the Fullman Blade, um, it uh, definitely suffers uh, because of the uh, inability here to uh, make use of um, an extremely quick slashing pattern. And since uh, everything is kind of dependent on, um, on your ability to uh, uh, make sure you put the damage out on the enemy, um, you definitely don't have uh, the ability to um, do any kind of quick damage. You definitely have a, a lot of uh, ability here to uh, go for uh, big damage, but you don't have uh, any kind of stagger, uh, real real stagger uh, built into the weapon, um, while at the same time um, you have uh, really, really uh, uh, limited other options. Okay, let's see if we can get this. Okay, good. We got the, uh, the parry there. That's very good. Oh, and Mia got the kill, so that uh, took 5% of our uh, health regen there, which is okay. Alright, uh, so we're doing uh, not too bad here. Let's go for some more damage. Um, and uh, that is okay to go for uh, that lightning uh, uh, buff when uh, you are uh, trying to um, uh, do other things, but uh, like to actually go for a uh, charge attack. But uh, if you can go for it uh, while you're uh, in the attack animation, then uh, it's okay to do that too. It's okay to charge it up uh, outside of combat either way. Okay, but the uh, running attack of the uh, Fullman Blade like that is uh, very, very quick, very, very nice. Um, but uh, you have to be running and apply it, and to uh, apply it over and over is uh, uh, kind of a difficult thing to uh, chain those um, back to back to back. Okay, whew. so now that we are um, kind of settled here, um, uh, we can kind of make our way in a uh, fairly relaxing manner here uh, through the rest of the uh, cathedral. Now we will, uh, 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 when we get to the, um, what is he, the Argent Wolf Berserker, we'll probably call it there as uh, we'll have another invasion and then we will have um, the uh, successor after that. Oh, oh, okay. I thought he would uh, knock off the edge there, but apparently that's not the case, uh, so whatever. Alright, and uh, now that we have a um, missile here, we can go ahead and heal, get our uh, health back and everything, uh, every all that, um, as uh, the Fullman Blade uh, definitely is not anything quick. Um, you spend a lot of time uh, taking damage or trying to block um, in between, and uh, that is where the uh, Fullman Blade kind of is a... Um, kind of a dual role kind of a weapon as it uh, as it has the uh, really good block value of, uh, of a two-handed sword but it has the um, light uh, dexterity kind of mobility um, dexterity as in motion um, uh, as compared to a one-handed sword um, but uh, it definitely uh, has its has its role and it has a place um, but it is uh, a little bit different and a little bit uh, unwieldy to say the least, okay. So, and as you see there, we get uh, one eye core on, on a strike, and since we're not healing ourselves anymore, uh, we can go for uh, increased gift speed and uh, get some more of that uh, uh, ability there to uh, put out damage on the enemy uh, when we need to. And since we are um, light-based uh, here, well, we, might as, we might as well go for um, uh, bridge to glory and uh, well she is uh, just uh, okay okay and we'll just uh, block all these and we'll continuously get I4 back while at the same time uh, continuing to uh, get focused so remember it takes uh, 20 strikes to get focused all right and uh, so we got a few strikes there uh, in between so we'll go for this and this and go for some 
uh, strike here. Now if we uh, attack this lady, uh, she will uh, call in her friend over there. So uh, if we do that. Uh, now you have to be aware if the other friend uh, got wind of that or not. And she will come in at exactly the wrong time. Okay, and that, uh, oh, and that will stagger her out of her uh, blocking animation there uh, with the um, with the uh, pierce lightning of the uh, lightning barrage. Okay, what's she gonna do? Okay, so uh, she's not doing anything, so we'll go for a guard booster. Okay, and uh, now we can block those with perfect block. Okay, good job, Mia. Let's go for a, a running strike. Okay. And we'll put her down. Okay, very good. Uh, we've taken some uh, unnecessary hits here, but uh, nothing we can't handle and nothing that's uh, overwhelming for our uh, health regions or anything. So uh, that's very good. Yeah, it's always an option, but uh, uh, but not not uh, an option for us, as we want to uh, get as much uh, I-Core here as we can. Okay. And uh, go for a couple of backstabs here, if we can get them. Good grief. Sometimes these enemies just, uh, they don't uh, like to play nice for the camera, um, and every time I uh, encourage them to play nice, they, uh, they don't. Um, but uh, it's nice for the uh, regular Lost through the Cathedral here, that as they are weak to Slash and Lightning, um, right we, are all, we are able to uh, put pretty good damage on just the regular Lost fellas, but uh, as we have um, all these other uh, giant ladies and the Golden Warriors, and... Uh, and we have uh, all these other folks. Um, it's just absolutely ridiculous how uh, how much uh, we have to go through in order to get through here. Uh, one of the faithful revenants is uh, pinging me there, so that's uh, not a problem. They're uh, uh, wishing me well in vain, right? <laughs> that's what they're wanting to do. Um, so uh, yeah, but it's always nice to have a a, a very good community here nice. in vain to uh, uh, constantly. Uh, check in and see how everyone's doing. So I really do appreciate that about everyone. Okay, and we'll block those. We'll put a, uh, um, a barrage uh, through her. Okay. okay. And and the uh, the um, uh, what is that? The block animation kind of locks the uh, revenant in place. Uh, so the fulmin blade, even though it does have perfect block when paired up here with steady bulwark or um, a guard booster. Uh, you definitely need to be careful of the fact that you can get locked in place very, very quickly, and you need to time your uh, unblocking abilities. Alright. Uh, okay, and let's go ahead and rest, uh, so we get all of our uh, I-Core and everything back, as well as um, our, uh, our re regens and everything, and... Uh, uh, this way uh, we can uh, get through uh, the rest of the cathedral. So it's important that uh, when you're one-handing here um, that you go for uh, multiple heals, at, uh, if you're, especially if you're going for a slow weapon uh, such as this, um, in order to uh, make sure that you uh, have enough uh, I-Core and everything to be able to keep going and uh, keep moving into uh, each of the areas. Now, uh, the quick mobility is um, very, very good. And I don't, uh, I, I would not uh, give up uh, quick mobility uh, for something a little bit different. Uh, so any other uh, sword that you would use, um, you can use um, almost even uh, the machete with this. As uh, you can see here, it is only a few pounds more, um, 59.2. Um, so it's only one more pound, and this is the heaviest one-handed sword. And you can see here that it has a monster of a uh, damage value. Uh, 1674 is uh, something on the order of what um, of uh, uh, pole arms have. So uh, you can have really, really good damage as a one-handed uh, sword, but the Fulman Blade is not it. And you see there that the uh, Pierce uh, attack does 3300 uh, to these ladies. Um, since they are weak to Pierce uh, Lightning, uh, that actually just destroys them. And uh, so let's go ahead and look here at our damage value. Uh, so we have 70 on lightning and 1570, but we did double damage um, to her because of uh, her lightning weakness as well as the pierce weakness. Uh, so that's very, very good. All right, and let's see uh, what's going on here. All right, and uh, okay. 
we're good to go. Uh, so making our way through the cathedral yet again, and uh, doing it one-handed uh, swords hit through here uh, is kind of a, uh, a different uh, um, kind of a way to uh, do things. As uh, you see there, it takes a couple of strikes to kill these fellas, but now that we are uh, paired up, it takes uh, two hits and uh, you can put these guys down very very quickly so these folks uh, don't really pose us any kind of threats um, at all um, it, it, simply because of the fact that uh, they uh, you know kind of don't uh, really give us any challenge and there we did a charge attack we got more lightning damage and we took that guy down in one strike but every time we do a charge attack uh, we can uh, lose two i core, so it's not uh, really uh, cost effective, I guess you could say, uh, for us to continuously do um, charge attacks. But it is nice that we have uh, all this mobility built into a uh, very, very heavy hitting um, uh, weapon here, while at the same time having access to uh, a sort of an uh, extra gift here in uh, Lightning Barrage. Um, I wouldn't say that this is uh, any way to uh, go about it, but. Uh, oh, come on, buddy. There we go, and we'll just plunge attack this fella as he uh, goes down very, very quickly. So uh, mixing in um, that uh, little bit of uh, of gift of light gifting there, since uh, we are kind of sort of light gifting with Bridge to Glory, um, and uh, and that gets us our ability to be uh, quick mobility here. Uh, it kind of makes sense to uh, go ahead and put a light gift there, anyways. And you can totally mix that up for uh, you know a different light gift uh, if you wish and the nice thing is is now that we have cognitive zeal going and uh, dex in mind we are at an A in mind so we have a very very high uh, mind value as well as paired up here with um, the uh, ivory grace or uh, what what, uh, what have you uh, okay and we'll uh, put this guy down before he gets too uh, crazy here and we'll pick up the mobility enhancer, which is great, but we don't need it since we are already quick mobility. All right, and uh, heading up here, uh, it's kind of a little bit of uh, more of the same here as we uh, engage um, some of these enemies. Um, but uh, the fact of the matter is, is this entire area is uh, down to execution and how you go about um, engaging. Oops, and as you see there, uh, we took one hit and uh, we are almost dead. So we'll go ahead and block that. We'll give her a uh, lightning barrage. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we took one hit and uh, that took about 2500 health, uh, which is uh, more than two heals uh, for us to uh, be able to heal that, so uh, not a problem. And we'll go ahead and hack her down and uh, get some i back there, no problem. So uh, those ladies are not an issue, but when there's three and four of them running at you in a straight line, and then they're all uh, staggering their attacks in such a way that uh, don't give you a uh, an attack window, um, it becomes uh, very, very difficult to say the least, as you saw in the uh, beginning invasions there. Alright, and uh, we finally made Where's it to rest? another missile, which is very, very good, as we uh, need to rest at each and every single one uh, that we come across. Uh, because uh, if we don't, uh, we run the risk of simply uh, getting uh, destroyed. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get these going, and let's see if we can get the parry here. If uh, she notices us and wants to do that. There we go. Very good. Okay. And we'll go ahead and do some slashes and a lightning barrage. Very good. Okay. So you see that uh, if we weren't paired up here with lightning barrage, uh, we would be having some uh, real issues um, being able to uh, continuously put out the hurt on the enemy as um, most of the uh, effects here can be negated by simply uh, moving quickly around us and as uh, these ladies here are uh, constantly um, moving around us quickly um, oops okay oh, and that guy shot us uh, in the face uh, that was unfortunate and now Mia is uh, inhibited oh no she's not okay and uh, so that's kind of how uh, the Fullman Blade operates. Um, it needs to be very, very calculated, uh, very, very organized kind of attack patterns. Um, otherwise, uh, you run the risk of just dying outright. Um, as you saw there, we took uh, one hit and then one bullet uh, from those fellas, 
and uh, they put us down. And then Mia had to heal us, and even with uh, Guardian Aid, uh, we still only have uh, 34 on Slash, uh, so we have uh, very, very uh, horrible, horrible defenses here. Okay, we'll just uh, get everybody going. Okay. Okay. Uh, that stupid monkey hit me with his little uh, whatever ball there. Okay. Let's uh, put her down. There we go. Very good. And as you see, uh, because we have such uh, little uh, defenses here against all these folks, um, we definitely have some issues. All right. So we're heading on into the uh, kind of final uh, set of enemies here. Um, the uh, Fulmer Blade, uh, as it does have its place, um, it's a very... Uh, I, I guess the good thing about it is it's very unique and very niche. Kind of a use case altogether, as there's only three blood codes that can make use of it. Um, and if you if you have the DLC 3 and you get the Fulmer Blade, then you have access to Volley. So uh, anytime you want to use it, uh, you have three blood codes that you can have access to uh, at all times, outright, uh, stock. But uh, if you want to go for uh, different blood codes um, that uh, make use of this, uh, make use of this sword, there are others uh, rather than these three. But they uh, need to be uh, they need to be specifically be built uh, for it. Uh, oops. Uh, as you can't, uh, you can't just uh, pick and choose and say, I want to use it with this blood code and whatever, and just build for that, um, because it is such an unwieldy kind of a requirement set, a dex of A and a mind of B. Um, so the uh, Fulmer Blade uh, has its has its issues, but it does, uh, like I said, it does have that almost perfect block, and if you fortify it, it goes to a perfect block all around. Um, so it can be um, kind of a uh, a heavy two-handed sword kind of a use case um, if you think about it in that way where you attack once or twice and then block and then attack once or twice and then block um, it can be used in that sort of a way for, for certain but uh, as it is a, a one-handed sword um, one-handed sword wielders uh, typically like to um, get in get out uh, do a whole bunch of damage uh, kind of like what we did with the uh, with the executioner where we uh, we got in there, we did all kinds of damage. We stunned her. We we um, did all those uh, status effects, and we kind of just put her down uh, very very quickly and easily. Uh, that's kind of how one-handed sword wielders um, kind of operate uh, in general. Um, is you want to get in, you want to do four, five, six strikes, uh, get out, let your stamina recover, uh, run in, do four, five, six strikes. Uh, dash out, let your stamina recover, rinse and repeat, and kind of just uh, run that over and over. Whereas the Fulman Blade is not that. You need to play like a two-handed uh, sword wielder while at the same time having a one-handed sword uh, with uh, quick mobility. So it kind of um, changes play styles uh, just because of what the weapon is. Alright, now as we get in here, uh, obviously we need to go for our blood um, for this fella. And uh, as we have uh, these, uh, we can switch this to um, Blood Barrage, and uh, we should be um, A-OK -okay here to uh, go against this fella. And we'll go for a couple of things here, as uh, they're not uh, entirely necessary, um, but uh, they definitely will help, uh, to say the least. Alright, let's go Mia. And of course, uh, we need to go for a backstab uh, at the beginning here, just to uh, let uh, Bridge to Glory um, recover. Okay. And we can block him. There we go. And that's the nice thing about this fella is we can block everything that he throws at us. Okay. Okay. He's going after Mia. That's very bad. Okay. And we'll go for a backstab here. And as you see there, we do 4,300 uh, damage, uh, which is pretty good. And now he's enraged which means he has blood resistance. Um, so he takes, uh, I believe it's 30%, uh, re uh, 30, it looks like uh, maybe 50% uh, reduction to uh, blood damage. Uh, so we will have to switch up here. Okay. And uh, we would uh, want to probably go for uh, um, uh, fire, I would think. Okay, we'll block that. Okay, he's uh, baseball bat swinging. 
Now here's where the uh, Fulmin Blade uh, definitely can come in handy. Is uh, it, uh, Since we do have that perfect block, uh, we can block all these all day long. And we can just uh, do this. Oh, yeah. And since we can block those, um, we can uh, constantly uh, just run around in circles here. Oh. And we'll block him. So Mia doesn't have perfect block, so uh, that's unfortunate. So we can go for a, a block there, and then this. Okay, and we are out of um, a guard booster. There we go. There we go. Okay. One, two. There we go. And since we can simply uh, punish um, each and every time that he uh, goes for an attack on us, and uh, that fight is not really nerve-wracking too much, uh, simply because of the fact that uh, you have that uh, perfect block um, that you can go for uh, any time you have the Fulman Blade um, active, and uh, you have a access to a Guard Booster. Um, as you see here, our uh, value is 92, and if we go for a Guard Booster, uh, we get up to a uh, perfect 100, and that is for every uh, Fulman Blade that you have access to. Um, and the uh, uh, Fortified is just outright uh, 100 across the board. Um, so you can use th any of those that you wish. Uh, we'll switch back here. And then uh, Steady Bulwark uh, increases your uh, defenses uh, about uh, 16 um, on a defensive ability there for the blade. And uh, so if we switch to something like the Executioner, you can see here we have, um, we have uh, 78 and plus 16 would be uh, 80, 94. Uh, so if we go for uh, Steady Bulwark, uh, this guy is up to 93, okay, so 15, um, and, uh, and we got uh, 15 down here. So it's a little bit different uh, for each, uh, each blade and how they react to light damage. Um, so if we switch to the, uh, um, um, th these guys, uh, here you'll see we have 82, and if we go for this, um, since this is a mind scaling weapon, now we get uh, 16. Uh, so it also depends on the blade. And as this has a, only a dex uh, scaling here, uh, the Crimson Longsword uh, scales better off of uh, Steady Bulwark than something like, uh, as you saw there, the uh, Executioner. Um, now uh, you can see here that it doesn't matter, even though uh, this one has a mind, um, it doesn't scale off of mind, whereas the Crimson Longsword scales off of mind. Um, so that's kind of kind of interesting about uh, one-handed blades and how they uh, how they scale uh, for defenses and such. Um, while at the same time, the Fulman blade is just uh, increasingly strong defenses. Uh, so you can go ahead and use this like a two-handed sword. So we'll pick up here and uh, finish up the uh, cathedral, the last invasion, and the doggy uh, in the next one. So hope you all uh, enjoy this, and uh, we'll continue on uh, probably with a different sword. Um, than the Fulman Blade, uh, so we can have access, or so we can have as many episodes as we want uh, to get through um, each of these uh, one-handed swords that we have access to. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you then.